right then, I'm in this great big field, everyone. And they have lots and lots of cows, lots and lots of troughs. I'm heading for style straight ahead of me, the other side of that trough. And I've already crossed about oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six. This is the seventh field I'm crossing. And see those trees right up there? It might not be those. I always get muddled up. If it's not those, there'll be another set of trees that I have to go towards. But I've got a feeling it's them. A copse. Not far from Drake Copse Lights. Now, putting on a bit of a pace. The reason I'm putting on a bit of a pace is because it is dictated to by time. Now when I had my van, I never ever thought of the time. Apart from if it was getting dark. I never ever thought of the time. But it dominates you when you've got to rely on a bus. And it's winter. You know what I mean? Some old farmer said, you can't don't drink out of that, he said, but you can drink out of the cistern if you can lift it. He said, because the cows aren't allowed to drink poisonous water either. But don't drink out the trough, of course. But if you can get to the cistern, where the pure water comes out, it's what a farmer told me over um, Tiny's Farmway. Now what's slowing me up in here, because there's herds and herds of cows in here a lot, it's very humpy bumpy and you can't suddenly go down a foot if it's very muddy where the cows have been. Now I'm heading for what I think is a stile. There is a gate up there. So just imagine why I'm doing this now. Because it's possible in a month's time, even quicker than that because the grass is growing, it's repaired very quickly. I've seen it a lot worse than this in February. I think they've taken them out early, much earlier, because it's not a quagmire here. It's recovered very well, and I think another month of growing, and they'll be out. There are some out. You get hardy cows. They have got a herd out over that way somewhere. Yeah, I first discovered this walk, oh, I don't know, 10 odd years ago. I'd have to have a look in the video diaries. <coughs> I got a map out. I got, I'm not sure if it follows the West Mendip Way, but you can go up there as well, don't forget, which I haven't done. Follow that line of trees and go along. And you can go to the old forts, the old Iron Age forts. And it was only about a year or so ago, two years ago, they ploughed a cross over there to get to those forts from a different angle. It wasn't that long ago, but it was, that was muddy then. This is sufficient for today. It's getting the cardiovascular system working. But like I said, it's very humpy bumpy. So you've got to be careful not to twist your ankle. I don't know if the gate opens, but we'll try and climb over the stile. Yeah, I remember going through that gate and I went up over that way. I've brought an umbrella today, just in case. Good old style here. Yeah, because it's just up there. There's the old pretty road, a little tiny, tiny mining road, which I also like walking along, by the way. I actually enjoy it. So here's the style. Many a person's rested up in the heat of the sun. 
I've got a hot flask but I'm not ready for it yet. I can see a whole line of cows up the top there so that's going up near where that shed is. Hopefully they're not where I'm going because it's possible isn't it that they're in my field up there. Yeah that could be my field. If it is we'd have to do the we'd have to do the road. Styles and blokes. Yeah, actually I'm going over there in a minute. That big herd up there looks to me to be in the field I've got to go in. Is it? Yeah. They might be fenced off, might not. They're going over that way. Yeah, they're near the cops. Oh, it's a bit dodgy. Right, folks. There's cows in that field. That field there was the field I was chasing years ago. And I had to climb over a much worse wall than this. I had to get hold of a big beam and lift myself up over. So I've come into this field. Hopefully there isn't any in there. But there are some in there. So rather than risk it, I've done what I've done before. I've come in this field and just sort of bypassed. It's better than risking it. Like I say, don't do this very often now. It gets done in the winter. Now if I see a herd of cows now, up there, I'll have to try and get over the wall and head for the stile. Because can you see the cabs? There's at least one, two, three, four, five, There's at least 18 or 20 cows that I can see. Now, they were like that before. When I got in that field, they were like that and they were away from me. Before I knew it, they'd surrounded me nearly. All I had the way, the only way out was the wall. And that was the first time I'd ever done it. There might be a way over up here, which I'm hoping. Because the style, I can see the style, I can see the pole. If I zoom in, the pole will be, I can't see it at all, but over there, the pole. So the cows are at one end of the field. Sometimes you get a split herd, which you've got to be aware of. If I can get in over by these trees, I can get. Now this isn't the end of my traumas. Draycott Sykes has cows. And there could be more cows. Now if it gets too dodgy, I'm just going to go, I'm just going to go down the road. Oh, yeah. I'm keeping an eye out in here, but no sign of cow pack. This is why I'm doing it in February. We still have cows out. See, they're all pointing that way. Near the shed. My style's over there, but I don't stay in the field. Down there, because they spot you. You can grab all those big poles. You grab all the big pole like that, you can get yourself over. And up here, there is a type of um, escape gate up here, is there? Yeah. There's a type of escape gate, which I'm heading for. I've had a lovely walk, mind, but it's always very exhilarating.
pretty burrows up the top there. I've really enjoyed, I've walked right across all this land now and I haven't, I know other ways. But this is out of bounds for 10 months of the year. It might come free in mid-December and it's very soon, very soon. Oh yeah, look, there's a wee. Very soon, the cows have been so they're just, you can't see them now. If you could come the other way, if you'd come the other way, you could have been walking across, not see them. This is what happens. They could turn at any time and there could be another herd up this end. What I'm going to try and do is get over here, up here, in a minute. Oh. Right, I'm going to turn off for a minute. Right, I don't expect this to come out, folks. It's just very windy. But I managed to divert round a big herd of bullocks. Instead of coming over the stile, I came through this little copse. So I only had to climb over a little tiny fence and a gate. Now I'm trying to find my way. I got lost in this field in thick fog once. Because there's so many gates, there's gates everywhere. And the walls, all in the fog, the walls look identical as well. Anyway, that's one mission accomplished. Now what we have to do is try and find the gate. There's somewhere along here, there's a path going from the stile all the way down there. I think that's the gate there. So we just head this way. In the end, if we walk up this angle, we'll meet the main path, which isn't far away, which takes you straight down to the stile. see any cows in that other fields which is good. Over there on the hill is the old hill forts which I've been and explored and taken lots of videos of when it was nice weather and it was still winter though but it was nice weather. And I think the reason I haven't done this for a while it's because I only do it when there's no, absolutely no risk. That herd back there were young bullocks. Now that couple, they didn't warn me. They could have said, I'll be careful of the, the bullocks. They didn't say that. They, they, all they said, oh, bullocks can be frisky. And that's all they said. I can see the stuff. Just see a gap. This is how you got got lost. Because what happened during that thick mist, which is like just in front of me, thick mist, I saw a wall, I turned into it, because I ended up going through a gate like that for some reason. Anyway, it's the 12th of February, I don't think I've mentioned the date yet. Can you see the the stoil shell? Because imagine if there were just imagine now if there was a raging bull in there and you didn't know where the style was. Well, I think it's straightforward there. Very difficult to find. There's the style there. There's the copse that you can see for a long time. I was in fields right over. I've done a great big swoop round everybody. A great big swoop round. The clouds are lovely, aren't they? They're saying, they're saying, we'll stay up here, Sheila, for you. We'll stay up here for you. And we won't come down to a bit later. You've got time to get home and get the bus. I do like to do it a bit more leisurely, really. But there is pressure for bus timetables. There's pressure. And of course I haven't, in the past I haven't had to really worry about time. Just used to park my van and come out and do what I wanted. So, so really, basically what's happening is, 
I haven't, um, where's the soil? Is it there? Is that it or is it over there? I don't know, we'll go here first. I'm not quite sure where it is. Might be up there. There looks like a bit of a gap there. We'll go and see. It looks a bit too far down. They haven't got a pole on it, see? It might be over there. I've got a feeling it might be over there. Yeah, that's not it. It's further up, Shill. Yeah, it's further up. It doesn't matter. We're still going in the same direction. It doesn't matter. But you can see how you can get lost in a massive field like this. There isn't the path just disappears. It's beautiful, isn't it? Let me stop and take a picture. <laughs> 